So when we talk about belief, I have a question, and that's the question that we're going to explore, and that is what's needed to really engender belief in students' potential for high intellectual performance and a staff's ability to elicit and nurture that potential. That's my question for Dr. Sicoli, how he was able to start an entire district moving along with that belief. So Dr. Sicoli, how did you get your staff and the community to start looking at this concept of high intellectual performance for all children? Well, first of all, I don't pretend to have uh, the one right answer, the perfect answer for this question, and we are certainly in a process with it, but ever since I came here over five years ago, we had uh, conversations about our beliefs and what we could do as educators to better serve our students. And to me, you know, the question, the second part of the question I think is critical, because the first part a lot of people will say, well, of course, I believe all students can learn at high levels, but the ability to elicit and nurture this potential, I think it's incumbent upon us to inspire and empower our staff so they can inspire and empower our students. Because I think sometimes not only do we take the wrong approach with students by focusing on their deficits and trying to remediate, I think we oftentimes take a, a, an ineffective approach with staff where, we be, where we're too prescriptive in, in an effort to get uh, consistency, we become too prescriptive and staff feels less empowered to use their strengths to bring out the strengths of students. So I think we have to work on that and we're going to have uh, more time in this discussion to talk about what we've done community-wide and district-wide and I'll be happy to share that in a bit. Well, thank you for sharing that and you're right, um, we understand that there's not one answer, but really it's how you look at the bigger picture. Next